Now that the MCSA is gone, it's time to shift our sights towards Azure. But what are the jobs that we can get with an Azure certification? What are the certifications that are available to us? And how do we get started? That's what this video is all about. And at the end, we'll talk about that 3K giveaway. Let's go. So we've gone through the stages of grief. We're in acceptance now. The MCSA is dead and it's time to shift towards Azure certifications and those role-based certifications. So how do we start with these things? Who is it for? What are the jobs? That's what this video is all about. But if this is your first time visiting my channel, I'd like to encourage you to click that subscribe button. It's all about growing your IT skills in your IT career. Okay, Azure certifications. Uh, let's pretend we were all just focused on our MCSA in Windows Server 2016 or the MCSD. How do we now shift out of that mindset and into cloud-based technologies. How do we even get started with Azure certifications? Check this out, let's bring up the website. So Microsoft has a website for browsing their role-based certifications and it's designed to help you get to the role-based certifications that you care about. So the first thing that we need to assess is what is our skill level? and our familiarity with working with Azure. We can get to that by clicking on this little certification level right here. Now, if you're completely brand new to Azure, you're gonna wanna start off with a fundamentals exam. Well, there's a lot of little certifications here. What we can also do is we can drill down into the Azure technology. And now we've got the Azure fundamentals. This is the AZ900 exam. Network Chuck taught this for CBT Nuggets. It's a great exam. It's a great course too. And I'd highly encourage you to check this out if you're brand new to Azure. Let's explore the certification. You can see real quick what we're talking about here. So taking this exam gets you certified in Azure Fundamentals. And you can kind of see the skills measured here is it's really just trying to get you to understand the concepts of what it means to work with the cloud. What are the core Azure offerings? These are going to be your infrastructure as a service offerings like VMs and VNets, as well as the platform as a service offerings. This is going to be like function apps and logic apps. But then also understanding the basic to securing and complying with Azure as well as how to understand Azure pricing. That's a pretty big deal too. So again, if you're brand new to Azure or cloud technologies in general, the AZ900 is gonna be a great starting point for you. Now let's hop back and let's dig into it a little bit more because once we break out of fundamentals, this is where we start talking about the jobs themselves and what exams you should take based on the job. Once you get done with fundamentals, we jump into the associate level exam. And with the associate level exam selected, I'm gonna change back to Azure again. Well, and there's quite a few associate level exams here. The one that I'm gonna draw your attention to first is right here, the Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator. This exam is most like the MCSA for Windows Server 2016. This is the exam that systems administrators are going to be most interested in. So let's explore this exam a little bit. You can see right here, it currently says the exam code is AZ103, but that's retiring soon and it's going to become the AZ104. I actually have a video on what the changes are. Truthfully, there's not very many changes. They removed some Active Directory stuff. They added backup and monitoring effectively. But you can see the bullet points here. The main stuff is we've got implement and manage storage. We've got implement and manage virtual machines configure and manage virtual networks and manage identities. This is a lot of infrastructure as a service, which includes VMs, virtual networks, which Azure calls VNets, and a lot of storage. There is also some Azure Active Directory, and if you're curious about the difference between Active Directory and Azure Active Directory, I also recently released a video on that. If this is the exam that you're interested in, this is what you really want to click on here, download the certification skills outline. When you give that a click, you'll see the exact things that are covered on this exam, like automating the deployment of virtual machines and then managing virtual machines. So AZ-104, that's going to be the one for systems administrators who are shifting toward Azure. And passing this exam will get you the Azure Administrator Associate Certification. But what about people who aren't systems administrators? I mean, there's a lot of stuff in Azure that's not covered under the Azure Administrator exam. In fact, I would argue that the majority of Azure's offerings are not covered in the Azure Administrator exam. Really, Azure shines for developers. Really, one of the big purposes of the cloud was to develop applications that can easily be scaled and deployed. 
So developers who are developing apps that use Azure resources like serverless hosting, whether that be in app services, function apps, logic apps, communicating in a pub sub architecture using the event hub, Really, the Azure offerings here are phenomenal. So while systems administrators definitely have their hands full and they've got a lot to learn about the Azure administrator exam, the Azure developer exam is a whopper because it's going to cover all of these major platforms like function apps, logic apps, SQL server hosting, Cosmos DB, no SQL hosting, integration with Event Hub, leveraging Azure Active Directory for supplying authentication processes for your own apps. I mean, it's, it's massive. Let's take a look at the AZ203 and now the AZ204. From here, I'm gonna change my job role to be developer. If I scroll down just a hair, I see the Microsoft Certified Azure Developer Associate. I recorded the AZ203 for CBT Nuggets recently. Now, the AZ204 has been announced and you can see it's currently in beta. And effectively what the differences between the AZ203 and the AZ204 are is that they removed some topics from the AZ203. Previously, the AZ203 was just a massive exam, but that's because Azure has some really incredible offerings. And personally, I think the true power of Azure shines in this exam. Let's actually bring up the skills outline here and you can see what I'm talking about. Well, immediately we're getting into Azure containers and VMs, that's part of it. So a little bit of overlap with the Azure administrator, but nowhere nearly as robust. You don't need to know about like VNet peering and building site-to-site -site VPNs. Now, app service web apps. This could be a website or an API that you're hosting in a serverless architecture. Function apps, another incredibly robust and somewhat affordable offering here within Azure. Cosmos DB, no SQL storage. Developing apps that leverage blob storage. So maybe your creating an app where you can upload files and it targets an Azure blob storage. I really like this one too. implement secure cloud solutions using Key Vault. So that way your code doesn't actually store any secrets. It can retrieve it from the Azure Key Vault. Caching solutions like CDNs and Azure Redis Cache. You get the idea. Like it's, it's really, really incredible when we talk about all of these different Azure services here and then actually developing code and applications that use them all. Now we can develop full-blown monolith applications or microservices and still deploy it all in truly serverless architecture. And really the best part about this is that Azure and these services are usually pretty affordable. They can auto scale. So we only use what we need when we need it, tear it down when we're done, and it saves us a ton of money and time. So that's the Azure Developer Associate for developing applications that use code that leverage all the resources in Azure. But what happens if say I'm both an administrator and a developer, then what are we talking about? Well, that's when we start shifting into the expert level certifications. If I scroll down here, we see we've got the Microsoft certified Azure solutions architect expert. Solutions architect in Azure terminology is the expert level certification exam and it's someone who can do both administration and development. If we take a look at the Azure Architect Technologies exam right here, with the AZ300, soon to be replaced by the AZ303, and we download the certification skills outline, you can see that the majority of these topics were combining the content on the AZ103 or AZ104 with the AZ203. But it also takes those skills just one layer deeper too. So now we can talk about things like implementing storage replication and implementing storage account failure on top of just deploying storage accounts. We still have things like automate the deployment of VMs and creating connectivity between virtual networks. But new things that now show up are implement and manage hybrid identities using Azure AD Connect to synchronize your on-premise Active Directory with Azure AD. And you can scroll down and see create web apps by using platform as a service. Well, now we're talking about the Azure developer exam when we were talking about the Azure app service web apps and even develop for the cloud and Azure storage, now we're seeing things like the Event Grid, the Event Hub, Service Bus, Cosmos DB down here. So you can see this is the combination of an administrator and a developer, and it makes sense that they would call that a solutions architect because they can architect any solution that they want. They can deploy the resources, they understand monitoring and security, user permissions and so on, the things that the administrator would do, but then they can also develop their own application on the fly if they need to. It makes sense to me that that person is called a solutions architect. And it also makes sense that that's an expert level exam. 
So your next steps, how do you get started? Well, first assess how comfortable you are with Azure. Are you gonna be starting with the fundamentals exam, the AZ-900, or are you gonna be moving into the associate exams, the AZ-104, the AZ-204? Or are you ready to go straight for the architect exam because you already know a lot about administration and development? Explore that Azure website because it's gonna be really helpful for you. And dig deep into those exam outlines Check out those bullet points and make sure those are the things that you really want to cover. I got to tell you that in my experience working with Azure for several years now, it was amazing to begin with, but they continue to improve it and continue to make even more incredible offerings. And Azure compared to other cloud resources to me personally is the easiest to work with. So if you've got any questions about your Azure journey, just comment below and I'll be happy to respond with my thoughts. All right, now the 3K giveaway. I did clear 3000 subscribers and I promise I'm giving away some cool stuff. Stuff like switches, stuff like firewalls. And even for my international people, we've got Raspberry Pi kits to give away. So check out the description below. Contest is going to be running for a week, must be 18 or older to win. International participants can participate in the Raspberry Pi giveaway, US only for the other networking gear because it's very heavy and it's very expensive to ship. But sincerely, thank you all for your support and your help in growing the channel. I've still got a lot of ideas and I've still got a lot to say. So I'm going to keep rolling out the content. But if you have ideas, if there are questions that you have, just comment below. I try to read all the comments and respond to all the questions whenever I can. All right, y'all. Thanks for stopping by.